Hi there guys, my name is Zach and welcome to Painting Support Group. Today I'm going to be painting a storm cast in 30 minutes. Now I've actually sped up the video to three times its normal speed. Uh, I wanted to do this kind of a bit like the 30 minute Space Marine challenges that a few other channels have done like uh, Age of Squidmar and Miniac, Miniature Maniac. Um, but I'm mostly doing Age of Sigma stuff, so I thought I'll try a Stormcast. Um, now this is about 30 minutes of me making mistakes. The first mistake was to think that a Stormcast Sequitor would be as easy to paint as a Space Marine. Um, they've got so many different textures and different uh, aspects to them. Uh, they're actually uh, pretty complicated, so um, I really struggled to get this done in time. Uh, so there, the first thing I've done is I've undercoated, uh, base coated, sorry, all of the armor in Retributor armor, um, and then I did a quick um, wash of Seraphim sepia over some of it. Then I thought, hang on a second, um, if I do the robes with, uh, uh, with Rackard's flesh, then I can do Seraphim CPR over all of it all at once and that will save time. So I thought, I'll give that a go. So here's me, I'm stippling on Rackard's flesh. I learned so much from this just by making loads and loads of mistakes. Um, the other mistake that I made uh, straight off the bat was choosing to use a normal palette instead of my wet palette. Um, yeah, it would have been so much quicker to use a wet palette because I wouldn't have had to refresh from the, uh, the pot half as much as I did. They're just really, really useful for for speeding up painting. You have your your paint there. You can see me having to go back to the palette again there. Um, one of the things um, to note, though, that is important if you're doing something like this, is to keep track in your head of what order you painted the different parts of the model. So then, when you're doing your second coat, you go back to the first part that you painted first of all and you can see that I'm doing that here I'm going back through doing the second coat on the uh, on the areas in the same order that I did the first coat there now Rackard's flesh over Chaos Black it's looking a little bit splotchy but that's okay I'm gonna do a highlight layer on top of that and actually, for a speed paint, it's okay. So now I'm doing the blue shoulders. Um, again, getting some stippling going on there. Um, I came to really love stippling quite recently, um, especially when doing um, when painting quickly. I just feel like I've got so much more control. There's another mistake. I should have painted the extra tabard bit blue at the same time as the shoulder pads. But at the time, I thought I was going to paint it brown. Later on, once I'd painted it brown, I realized that actually I needed to bring some blue into the bottom half of the model, but it was too late for me to do anything about it at that point. So that's another really important lesson to learn um, is actually to make sure that you have a plan. Uh, whenever I'm painting an army, I uh, always make sure that I do uh, one or two test models first to work out not only the color scheme that I'm happy with, but also um, work out the order in which I'm painting uh, the models. 
doing some quick lens flare highlights here on those shoulders. Just trying to get that blue done and so that I can move on to other colours. Um, yeah, so making sure that you do some test models, not only to work out what you want the army to look like, but also so that you know what order to do all of the different colours in. And that can really save you time from having to go back, you know, if you know everything that needs to be blue, you can do all of that at once, uh, and so on. And then it stops you from having to go backwards and forwards between the, uh, the different pots and different colours. Really speeds you up. So here I'm putting in the first, well, in fact, actually, because it's a speed thing, uh, the only layer of highlights on the white robes. Um, obviously, I've done them slightly off white. Um, and again, kind of just very quickly sketching it in. Trying not to think about it too much. Uh, I do my painting, most of my painting in my shed, um, which has got lots of different lights in it. But the main light is bang overhead and quite powerful, so um, it actually shows where I should be painting a lot of the highlights. But that can be a really good tool, just holding a model under a light and looking to see where the light naturally falls can really help you to show you where you want to put your highlights on. Like I said, I'm going really quick on here. It's not, if it's not perfect, that's fine. This is a speed thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see on your screen, my screen that I'm recording on is quite small, so I, I can't necessarily see it too well, but that um, cloth that on his back there, the Rackarth flesh hadn't actually covered that very well, but as I knew I was going to be using raised bone over the top, I didn't worry about it too much. I didn't go back for a third third coat. Now I actually was a bit of a skip there. I wasn't cheating. Uh, I just had to go and uh, sort something out with my wife. So um, I paused the camera, came back to it, uh, but it's still, I stuck to 13 minutes, uh, 30 minutes. I'd done 17 and then came back to do another 13 here. Um, now what I've done here is I've actually gone for Agaros Dunes to go over the gold. I really think that that's really great. And I tried it on the Rakarth flesh. This was the biggest mistake. Um, it brought the tone too close, far too close to the gold um, and stopped it from standing out. I did not like it at all. So you'll notice that I only did the chest piece and I am gonna go back to it later and that really kind of did did for me on this one. Again, not having a practice model really, really meant I didn't know exactly what I was doing and I made mistakes, which then meant that I was uh, fixing mistakes later on, which you, you really don't want to be doing if you're doing a speed painting challenge. So here I'm doing that little tabard in brown, another mistake, um, it was entirely the wrong colour to put there. It means that the blue is literally only on those shoulder pads, it's not anywhere else and so it doesn't work brilliantly. I wasn't happy about it but I didn't have the time to go back and change it. If I did then I would have changed that tabard part to blue. Um, and then those weird gauntlet things, which aren't even gauntlets, they're just like forearm wraps. What's with that? Don't like them, they're the worst part of the new Stormcast models. There's no point in them, don't like them. Uh, anyway, here what I'm doing is I'm going over all of the metal parts, both gold and silver, with good old fashioned paint, mithril silver, 
Uh, still going strong. Don't know what I'll do when that runs out. Um, or dries up. Or I spill it. That would be the worst. Um, yeah, just doing one layer of highlights. That's all I've got time for for this one. Um, just, again, using the light, holding it upright as much as possible to really see where the light is shining on those metallics and where the highlights should go. If I hadn't have messed up on the tabard, um, I would have actually done a null nile wash over the mace as well, just to put in some shading. Here I'm doing some uh, some sketchy highlights over, over the leather and you can see I'm just going kind of back and forth over it to almost do scratches on the leather. Nice quick texture, nice little texture to do there. Here I'm just tidying up those robes. They're such a big part of the model that it's important to get them right. Going back over that chest piece because I messed it up. There just wasn't enough contrast between the gold and the, um, and the chest piece there. Then doing the one layer of highlight there. So there's really crisp details on folds. I do like painting the folds of, uh, of these sequitors, even though it is tough to do it all in 30 minutes. What am I doing now? Oh, uh, yeah, so at this point I realised that I did not have enough time to go back and repaint that in blue, so I'm just highlighting um, the apron tabard with, uh, with what, um, what I had left on the palette there. Now just doing, again, some little scratchy highlights on the Taruges and, um, and the haft of the weapon. There we go, coming in underneath there, getting that done. And that's it, that's all I had time for, and here's the finished guy. Um, do let me know what you think, I'm quite happy for 30 minutes I think he looks okay and uh, uh, certainly for a whole army I think he'd, I'd be quite okay to put those on the table. There's certainly things that I would change for next time and I've learned so much from doing this so I really encourage you to give it a go if that's something that you think you'd like to do and let me know how you got on on Facebook or on Twitter. Do like, share and subscribe, comment down below. Thanks for coming. Bye.